I remember going to see a guy called Darren Brown. And it was his, I think it's called Miracle show. I'm pretty sure it's called Miracle. And one of the things he was saying in that show was that everything is stories. Everything. Our experiences are just basically stories. Everything that we experience is it because of a story we tell ourselves either about ourselves or the world it's why two similar people can have completely different experiences from a similar situation for example right now date and time of recording is the 3rd of may 2020 five past four coronavirus is still going on the story i'm telling about this situation is it's a massive opportunity for not just myself but for everybody yet somebody else might be telling the story that it's a crisis it's that it's the worst thing to ever happen to us same situation two different stories and because of those different stories myself and the person telling the other story are having a completely different experience okay same situation different stories different experiences so everything that's going on is just a story everything we experience is a story we're telling about ourselves or about the world or situations or circumstances that's it it's the the meaning that we ascribe to the situation so what stories do you tell yourself about the girl you want to get? My name's Matt. If you didn't know already, I help people get what they want. And in this video, we're going to get you to look at the things, especially the stories that are holding you back from getting the girl that you want. Not just getting the girl, but getting the girl that you want, because the only reason I believe that you haven't got the girl yet. The girl that you want is because of the stories that you're telling yourself, either about yourself or the girl or the type of girl that you want. If you haven't seen video one yet on this, this video series, go and check it out. The link is somewhere near this video. You're smart. You can find it. It's all about dropping the neediness. Video two is somewhere or step two is somewhere about defining um, everything about the girl that you actually really, truly, deeply, completely want. Number three is removing any blocks. Basically, it's this one. It's the step three is removing any blocks that are in the way between you and you get another girl. And yes, the principles work for anybody on the planet getting anything okay but again this video series is about the guy getting the girl if you want to support the channel by the way you can just go to paypal.me forward slash coach matt smith you can leave a donation there uh, the link is somewhere near this video if you've forgotten what i've just said come and follow me on the socials there's more links somewhere around these videos also subscribe to the channel if you feel like you're getting value from this and you want more from this i think there's a notification bell or button or something near that as well uh, i'd love to have you on board as a subscriber to get more of this content and if you don't want any of that then that's absolutely fine too so this is work that i avoided for a long time not just with getting the girl but with getting anything the body the money the relationships the opportunities the friendships the everything that i have in my life this is the work that i avoided for the longest time pretty much because i wasn't conscious or aware that this was even a thing that was preventing me from getting me what i want i just thought i had to work harder i had to grind harder i had to hustle harder i had to do implement more or different strategies i'd jump from one strategy to another uh and none of it worked purely because i was telling myself the story that i don't get girls like that right the girl i'm in a relationship at the moment the only reason i'm in a relationship with her now and i wasn't before is before i was telling myself a story of i can't get a girl like that there was no proof by the way there was no proof it was just the fact that i was telling myself that story and as soon as i switched that story obviously with all the other stuff as well that i did that are in these video series but no matter what else i would have done if i didn't switch the story from I don't get girls like that to I am somebody who gets a girl like that and, and can date a girl like that and get into a relationship with a girl like that and build a life with someone like that. Until I switched the story, it wouldn't matter what work I did. If I still told myself, I don't get girls like that. So this is a step for you. Get a pen, get a piece of paper or a book or however you, however you do this and start writing down. 
Because you've done step one, you've removed your neediness. You don't need her, you want her and desire her. You don't need her in your life because you are enough and you are the party and, and she gets to join you rather than you needed her to complete you. So you don't, no neediness. You've done step two, you've defined everything about the girl that you want. And now what you're going to do is you're going to start writing down all the stories about why you can't get a girl like that. We're going to get clear on the lies first, okay? So they're no longer going to be in your head and your beliefs and in your subconscious. You're going to get them out of you onto paper and you're going to write them all down and you're going to look at them from a distance so that they become not you. Because at the moment they're you, they're part of your story and your identity. But by putting them down on paper... They're not you. So I can't get that girl because I don't get tens because I don't get whatever your version of ten is, by the way. I don't get that girl because that girl won't date me because. And then just start writing down all the lies because that's all they are. They're lies. They're no truth. And by the way, you will always find proof to uh, uh, dismantle that story that you're telling yourself. So if you say, oh, girls like that only date rich guys, you will see examples everywhere. You'll be able to look and see examples everywhere of girls like that dating guys that aren't rich. And if you go, oh, girls like that just date good looking guys, you'll be able to, if you look for it, see examples of girls like that dating guys that aren't good looking. Oh, girls like that only date guys that whatever, 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 whatever. And you'll be able to see examples that completely dismantle that story, that belief that you have about yourself or girls like that, that you're that you've described that is the girl that you really, really want. And that's that's the most important work. The other stuff is equally important as well, I would say, but that's really, really, really important, because if you remove your neediness, decide what type of girl that you want and do all the other work as well, yet you still have the story that girls like that don't date guys like you, or that you can't get a girl like that because, and it's always about the because, whatever you put about the after the girls like that don't date guys like me because, like I can't get a girl like that because, and then whatever you finish that sentence with, whatever you add to that story, that line, because it's just a story and a belief that was picked up from somewhere, it's not true, it's just a belief that was picked up from somewhere, so it's not true beliefs aren't true beliefs are just thoughts and stories you tell yourself for a, a period of time and then, then they become a belief and they become part of your identity and they become, become part of your personality and like joe Dispen dispenza says dr joe dispenza says your personality affects and becomes your personal reality so if you change the stories you tell yourself you change your identity you change your personality you will change your personal reality that's the next bit for you that is it Go away, get a piece of pen, piece of pen, get a piece of paper and a pen and start writing down all of the lies, a.k.a. the stories you're telling yourself about either yourself or the world when it comes to dating, getting into a relationship or even building a life with the girl, woman, whatever that you've decided that you actually want in step two. And then, like I said, put them under the microscope. And go, right, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie, that's a lie. Because they're all lies. And then you can start writing supportive beliefs, which are basically, girls like that date me because... You don't even have to put the because. You can just put, girls like that do date me. I can get a girl like that. And you can fill in the story if you want, but pick something that serves you. Because it's just a story. It's just a story. There's no truth behind it. It's just a story. That's it. The only reason I am dating the incredible woman that I'm dating right now is because I told a different story about myself and women like her. That's it. That's it. Just tell a different story. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.